this video we are just going to discuss about the Blend for Veal Studio. What is the Blend for Veal Studio and why is there any need for developing a separate IDE and uh, isn't Veal Studio enough for developing amazing applications? Well, I would simply say that uh, Blend is specialized for the sample development or designing sample. So it has some additional features but that Veal Studio doesn't have. For example, if you just create a simple project, so I just go here, create a new project, create a WPF application, and there you go. I've created a project, and there are some features that uh, Veal Studio doesn't has. For example, if I'm just going to create a very simple animation so it's really easy to just uh, create an animation using blend with uh, keyframe animations rather writing your own animation using X, uh, in XAML for example uh, if I just create a rectangle here and after creating the rectangle I have an option of creating a new storyboard there you go and let's place it here and there you go take it to the one and simply if you just play this so I just created a very simple animation within no time so if I was to create the same animation in Real Studio it would have taken a lot of time of mine and I would have written a lot of sample for that so for example not only this but uh, for example if I have, if I'm going to uh, simply use gradients so it's a better option to use gradient tools in blend rather using the gradient uh, in the brush side of uh, the properties in Veal Studio uh, I have also have a pen tool I can draw a lot of shapes and uh, not only this I can also base them there you go. And after I've done that, I'll have some really amazing selection tool that is the direct, direct selection tool. I can select any of the node here and I can change that appropriately. And there you go. So these are the functionality that are not available in Veal Studio. With that, I have assets. So assets uh, not only contains uh, the simple controls, it contains the styles and simple styles. It contains the behaviors. And with that, it contains the effect. For example, if I want to add a blur effect or color tone or emboss or magnify or monochrome, pixelate, ripple effect that is really famous or swirl effect, I can add those effects as well. Whereas the states, with the help of view states, I can add very different uh, view states within a single page. For example, I want uh, three stage states. Uh, number one is for the red light, number two is for the yellow light, and number three is for the green light. So what I would simply do is that I would create the two view states in that. Uh, not only this, but I can also add the transition effect between the different stages so when it switches from green to yellow it has a transition state or transition uh, a fluid transition I would say between the two states uh, it also has the triggers for that uh, it has the, the data for example uh, I have uh, to develop an application where I need the data and uh, the data is not available for me so I might use some sample data so it's really easy to create a sample sample data in a blend and use that sample data across your application to design your sample application not only this but uh, we also have the resources tab where we have all the resources we also have the brushes and uh, all the stuff so this was a very basic introduction about uh, the blend for real studio and it's very different IDE from uh, real studio and for example if for you if you uh, are creating some windows app, uh, XAML applications WPF Silverlight or 
universal Windows application, Windows 8, Windows Phone application, you should try learning the blend so that you can do things really amazingly in a very little time. Uh, so one thing we just uh, left was the notification pan. So this is the notification pan or notifications tab I would say. So there you're having some notifications and uh, one of the notification uh, that I'm able to see is that application inside tools for Visual Studio is available. So there is expiry date for the notification. For example, this notification would expire tomorrow and after tomorrow I won't be able to see this notification. And uh, not only this, I can also dismiss the notification. If we have a red notification here, which means that it's a red alert. If you have a yellow, which means that it's a warning. And if we have a gray here, which means that this is a very simple informational notification that we are having. So this was all about the basic introduction about the blend and real studio in the coding environment. We also discuss about uh, the very different aspects of development in real studio. So that was all for the series.